Hi everyone, hope you're all doing okay. Uh, still surviving this lockdown. It's absolutely crazy, isn't it? I have no idea it would go on this long, but we're still here, we're still strong, and we're still together. And that's the main thing, even if it's all in a completely different way to what it would normally be. Just wanted to spend a couple of minutes just uh, catching up with everyone. Um, so gutted the one thing that is doing my head in about this lockdown is that we've not been able to have a men of fire meeting because oh, i'm so missing the meetings i've so enjoy them so look forward to um getting together with everyone it's brilliant we have such a good time but i thought i'd just spend a minute just to tell you one of the reasons why i'm so passionate about this it's uh I just think when we get together, we're stronger than when we're apart. And God's given me this vision for this Men of Fire group. And I believe that it's gonna go places, it's gonna get stronger and more and more people are gonna come along to this. So um, yeah, it's, I believe that the churches need to come together as we have done. The last time we had a meeting, there was, six different churches represented, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I said, I just can't wait for the next meeting. But one of the things what I really want for us to be able to create is a place for non-believers to come along as well. Uh, people that don't know the Lord and people that are searching for the Lord, make a safe environment for them to come to, a non-threatening environment, because let's face it to non-christians we can seem quite crazy to be honest with you i can remember when i really first had my very first encounter with god um i was at a very long low point in my life uh, i was young i was quite successful i working as a care manager in a nurse, well not a nursing home, working after people with learning difficulties, special needs and things like that. Um, and I had money, I had the car, everything, but I lost it all. Um, I was searching and I didn't know what I was searching for until later in life, but it took me down wrong paths. It took me to places that I never should have been, uh, but I can see all along that God has his hand on my life uh, and he was actually leading me down this path so that I could end up where I am now. Um, and this one day, everything had gone completely wrong in my life. I, my job was gone. Um, I was taking drugs. Uh, I'd lost the respect to my family. My family still loved me, but they didn't want to be around me because I wasn't a nice person. But this one day I was walking down the street uh, to back to my flat and the lady across the road shouted at me and asked me if I was okay. And she actually came towards me, which was weird because people didn't come towards me. People went to the other side of the street when I walked down there because everybody knew who I was and what I was. And people avoided me but this one lady she come across and started asking me if I was okay and I said no I'm not I'm in a real bad time and she said do you want a cup of tea and for whatever reason I just said yes please and we went in and she started talking to me and after a little bit she started to tell me about uh, Jesus now I can remember thinking oh here we go um, but and I thought yeah, my life's not that bad. This woman's got more problems than what I've got. She's talking about an imaginary person called Jesus. But she was a really nice person, Kath, her name was, and at the end she asked if she could pray for me. And I didn't want to be rude, so I said, yes, okay, no problem. And at that precise moment, God entered my life. I can remember saying to her, what is happening? Because I could just remember this fuzzy feeling just coming all over me. It was like being wrapped in the most amazing blanket or just feeling of love wrapped around me. And she told me, she said, it's the Holy Spirit. Now, 
what I didn't say is at this point I was actually going through withdrawals because uh, I'd not got no money, I couldn't get any drugs or anything and I was in a real bad physical way and I went home after this experience and I laid on my bed and I can remember just sat there going what on earth just happened and after a bit I got back up and went and knocked on the door and just said what just happened and I can remember looking at me really weird uh, she said what do you mean just happened I said when you prayed for me it was such and then I went and told her what I, she said you do know that was yesterday it was such an experience that I just didn't move for literally a day I laid on the bed just going wow what was that and since then I cut a long story short I ended up moving to Wales to go into rehab I came out of that um, I met my amazing wife who I love so much and we've been on a journey together for the last 13 years now uh, we've been married for 10 but throughout all that time God has been good to us he's always been there for us he's always provided for us no matter what hardships we've faced and over the last two years the thing that is placed on my heart is this ministry of men of fire because there's people out there especially now there's people that are going through hard times there's people that are struggling out there and people are searching for things especially during this lockdown people have got more time on their hands they don't know what's going on people are feeling uncertainty people are feeling pressure in life they're feeling oh, trapped they're feeling they don't know what's happening and we know that the answer to it all is Jesus and whatever happens when you've got Jesus in your life you can face this and this is one of the things that I said I want to make Men of Fire a safe place for people to come for Christians to come and be there and support each other because we still face difficulties as people of faith it's not all magically taken away from us but I want this to be somewhere where we can bring our friends to people that don't know the love of God somewhere that they can come into this safe environment and feel part of this group and I want this group just to grow because I honestly believe this is going to go places it's I believe that it won't be long before we're not just having a meeting at a night every so often we're going to be having whole day conferences where we're together for a day or even a weekend or something like that and I believe that more and more people are going to be coming in I think I always think you one little a fire can start with a little spark and I believe that men of fire is going to be that spark in people's lives in the Ronda and I believe that we are going to pray together we're going to be together and we're going to make changes so again miss all you guys honestly really do and i can't wait for us to get together again so in the meantime i'm going to be praying for you all and i hope you're all great if you ever want to talk to me i'm always here on facebook just you can look me up paul harris or you can get me on the oasis church i'm always there so god bless you all <laughs>